parties in a fix as election nears. Elephant is UNP's choice if the gas cylinder out. Some SLFP members to join SJB. A highly inflammable SJB. Namal to come from the national list. Actor Kamal bats for NPP. The leader, Deshe de Magagiena, Prorti Belagesma. Parties in a fix as election nears. With nominations due to be accepted for the parliamentary polls from October 4th, mainstream parties are still in a fix over petty issues. It was left-wing parties that experienced similar situations several decades ago due to their ideological differences. In an irony of fate, the same thing is happening this time to the right-wing camps. So, coalition talks between the SJB and the UNP have come to a halt. Elephant is UNP's choice if the gas cylinder out. The United National Party is to contest under its elephant symbol if it is not given the gas cylinder as requested from the Election Commission. The Commission is due to give its decision today. Meeting at Sirikota with Ranil Wickremesinghe in the chair yesterday, the party's working committee also discussed allying with the SJB. Deputy leader Akila Viraj Kariyawasam, Navin Disanayake and Ashu Marasinghe spoke in support of that. All the others rejected the SJB's condition that Ranil should step down and Ruan Wijewadna appointed leader if the two parties are to join forces for the polls. Ranil stressed the need to contest under the gas cylinder, along with all those who supported him at the presidential election. A meeting of UNP electoral organisers that followed saw a vast majority wanting the party to contest under the elephant. The Sri Lanka Freedom Party, along with the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna Alternative Group and Nimal Lanza's New Alliance, are also finding the situation extremely unfavourable to them. The Trophy Alliance is refusing to contest under the elephant. It is said that they cannot do so after having blatantly attacked Ranil and the UMP before coming to support him in the past two years. Some SLFP members to join SJB. Most of the present-day political big shots learnt their basics under the Pieples Alliance with the chair symbol that was formed in 1994. It was Chandrika Bandaranaike Kumaratunga's hallmark that ended 17 years of UNP rule too. Chair is the symbol under consideration by Nimal Siripala's SLFP and Lanza's new alliance if the UNP contests under the elephant. In the meantime, several powerful SLFP figures who were in Ranil's government are having talks to join the SJB. Critics find it better for the trophy and left-wing chair to contest separately. They note that after they allied with the right-wing Ranil, the old guard aligned with the national people's power. A highly inflammable SJB. SJB to field new faces. The Samagi Jana Balawagaya has decided to introduce new faces from every district. So, former cricket captain Hashan Tilakaratne's wife Apsari will contest from Colombo, in addition to Patali Ranawaka. The SJB's Colombo list is highly inflammable. From Gampaha, it is going to be newcomer Waruna Rajapaksa. Dulas Alahaparuma and Niroshan will vie from Matara and Dr Galapati will do likewise from Hambantota. Retired General Daya Ratnayake will be fielded from Kurunagala, Shan Wijayalal from Gale and Sujiwa Senasinghe, Lakshman Kiriela's daughter and ex-UNP member Mahesh Senanayake from Kandy. Sajith's private secretary Ravi Jayawardena is a certainty from Kalutara, while former national caps Thilakarathne Dilshan and Chaminda Vas are still undecided. Furthermore, Lakshman Fonseca is said to be trying his utmost to get Mahinda Amarawira, Lasanatha Alagiawana and Anura Yapa to join the SJB. Eyes UNP big shots too. Without stopping there, Lucky is reportedly eyeing UNP's Akila Viraj Kariawasam and Ashu Marasinghe too. SJB's national list, Sajith Premadasa has decided to appoint retired General Mahesh Sinanayake from the national list. The inclusion of Lucky too was mooted, but he has told the party that he has no intention of ever entering Parliament. Undercutting begins. It is said that no one is allowed to challenge Sajith's leadership. So, 
moves are afoot against certain figures including Harsha de Silva, who is said to have asked for the leadership after the recent polls. Even if those who had struck deals with Raniel are given nominations, the party is to make sure that they don't get elected. Also, Scythe has taken a firm decision not to include anyone with fraud or corruption accusations in the nomination lists. Yapa Bandara from Kandy says the SJB will field corrupt free, young, educated and intelligent leaders. There is an opportunity for retirement for those who should do so, he adds. A blame game over SJB's defeat. With the election defeat, internal strife is intensifying in the SJB. One camp is campaigning against the blueprint prepared by Harsha, Kabir Hashim and Iran Wikremaratne with a call for the trio's ouster. Their electorate suffered heavy defeats too. Anyway, Kabir is said to have made amends with lucky courtesy interventions by his in-law Muzamil. CBK versus Sudatta. The meanwhile, CBK has clarified a reference she had made to AKD as a yokel after it came under attack by social media activist Sudatta Tilakasiri. She told journalists that she called the new president a gamey collar or village lad on affectionate terms. Although born and bred in a mansion, CBK said she would never insult the underprivileged with no English knowledge. Namal to come from the national list. Lankadipa reports that Namal Rajapaksa is preparing to abandon the Rajapaksa bastion of Hambantota at the upcoming polls. He came fourth there at the presidential election with close to 27,000 votes. Since it is unlikely that his party will win a single seat from the district, Namal is thinking of moving to Kurunagala, where he fared a little better with over 32,000 votes. His father Mahinda polled the highest preferential votes from that district at the 2020 election. But reports reaching us say that his intention is to base his entry to the total votes his party secures, which essentially means he is coming from the national list. Actor Kamal bats for NPP. Popular actor Kamal Adara Ritchie says he is prepared to contest the upcoming election for public well-being. With a fan base spanning the entire country, he claims to have the required qualifications and the abilities. He adds that the present regime should be given a two-thirds majority in order for the betterment of the people. An executive who signs with a ballpoint pen not a Mont Blanc. Political activist Shiral Lakthilak says on Facebook that it is a positive sign that the person who is going to change the system pays attention to his culture. Dilith is on to something. Leader of the Morbima Janatha Party, entrepreneur Dilith Jayawira, seems to be on to something. He is wooing popular figures from other parties with positions of his own. After luring Dailam Amunugama, he got hold of Roshan Ranasinghe today. Anyway, Critics say victory is a certainty for the NPP this time, regardless of what other parties do. That's it for today. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Pro Tipelagasma.